Right, folk, did that come in right? I did, I did it good too early. Did I come too early? Ha, done that before. Um, right, folks, how are we all? Now, this is a very exciting video for me. Um, uh, as you have seen from the thumbnail and the thumb title, the thumbnail that I have yet to take. And <coughs> these are Jeremy Clarkson's Diddly Squat Crisps. Um, they are now selling crisps. I think if you've seen, uh, no spoilers alert, but I think he injured himself making these crisps. Uh, the legend that he is. Um, now, um, I am going to show no favouritism towards Clarkson or the Diddly Squat farm. Uh, it's going to be a neutral review. And um, yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, just one second. Sorry folks, um, yeah, there'll be no favoritism in this video. Uh, no, it's gonna be an independent review. There is no going to be no favoritism at all in these videos. I don't do that kind of thing. I don't, hold on, just one second. So right, when, you, when you have a packet of crisps, it's nice to have a beer. So um, I've got some of this Hawkston's Lager. So, yeah. So like I say, there's gonna be uh, no favoritism. Nice. No favoritism, no winding anybody up. None of that kind of crap. Now, um, so what I've done, I've been on the internet, uh, on the uh, Diddly Squat website, after watching his um, season two of uh, Clarkson's Farm, and he was doing crisps, crisps. So I thought, you know what? He's supporting a local business. Not a local business, but it's supporting a small business. So I thought I'd give it a go. And I bought 24 bags. of cheese and onion crisp. Now it does cheese and onion and lightly salted. Now, Jezza, if you do actually see this, I don't know if it's um, there, but it would have been nice to have 12 cheese and onion and 12 lightly salted. Just a suggestion. You're the man in charge, but it, just a suggestion, you know what I mean? So, here we have the crisps. Put these down here. So, 20 to 5, it's a good time for a beer, isn't it? 20 to 5, in the afternoon, it's a great time for a beer. Um, I mean, you could start earlier if you want, no worries to me. Um, so, uh, right, so just reading on this Diddly Squat Farm, uh, celebrating the launch of season two, we bring you our Diddly Squat Farm, Chris, hand cut, Freshly hand cut and absolutely delicious. Our lightly salted and cheese and onion flavours are scrumptious. They're truly, truly scrumptious. Truly scrumptious. What was that in? Was that Chitty Bang Bang? No doubt it'll get changed anyway. Somebody will change that. They won't like that. So they'll change the, the word in. Uh, it's been a labour of love, but after losing half my thumb, it was time to take our spuds to the professionals. I agree. Impressively, our bags are 100% compostable and plastic free. Really? No better way to show your love on Valentine's Day, which was the other week, uh, than uh, with Chris Clarkson's Farm special offer 24 packets uh, for the price of 22. Um, I must admit also, I would have liked to have ordered them first class. Uh, they came second class. Um, but that, you see, you, when I do these reviews, I like to do a plus side and a negative side. They did take a long time to, to roll up. I ordered them on the 12th of Feb, so there was no way you were gonna get them on the 14th of Feb. And I think I've got them on the 24th or the 23rd. So 
But either so, it doesn't matter really, does it? Um, Clarkson also does cow juice vodka, um, diddly se diddly's delicious seasonings, uh, bee juice and honey dripper, uh, diddly squat shan ooh, diddly squat shandy. We'll have to see. So, uh, only the finest uh, diddly, uh, only the finest, they never use any rubbish, do they? Uh, we're chosen to make our crisps. Uh, diddly Squat is committed to contributing to the improvement of the environment pack impact of food packaging waste. And all we go. So the story begins, we planted uh, two acres of potatoes which grew into 40 tonnes of spuds, so many in fact we opened up Diddly Squat Farm Shop to sell them. In two years we grew the wrong type of... He said that in the programme, didn't he? Um, in two years we grew the wrong type of potatoes. Finally we, uh, we were victorious and have yielded the perfect specimen for those delicious homegrown crisps. Enjoy every time. So... It's got like a on the front here. It's got some kind of. It's got the Clarkson, the man himself. He's made a thing, uh, but it's, it's got like where you can rip it. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> mm. Now I do like hand cut. What are you doing? I do like hand cut crisps, so let's tuck in, have a couple, let's tuck into the uh, diddly squat cheese and onion hand cut crisp. I like them. I really like them, and I'm a bit. <laughs> it's a bit bad, really, because although I do really like Clarkson, and I'll stand by him for whatever he says and does. Um, they are really, they're really nice crisps. They've got a a buttery, smooth feel to them when you chew them. Um, you eat some hand cut crisps and you may as well be eating a glass of razor blades and shrapnel because they're that hard to bite and chew uh, but these are the light and buttery crisps they are really really nice crisps and um yeah. <laughs> you see, this is what Clarkson does. He takes something, makes it that's simple, and creates something simple. He doesn't mess about with it. Get down. He doesn't mess about with it. My granddad always used to say, uh, life's very simple, 
made complicated by idiots. And this is all what Clarkson has done. He's just made a cheese. And it's just, well, he hasn't really made it, has he? It's his potatoes, and it's obviously his name, and it's his brand that's selling the crisps. Um, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me again. Now, they... And I'm not just saying this, and I don't care if people say, yeah, you're just saying that because of Clarkson and you fucking love him and that, and he's not going to shag you, Dave. No, I don't want him to shag me, but I am giving an honest and <laughs> a opinion here, and they are really good crisps. Now, the price for 24 um, is a packet cost. When you've done all the packaging and stuff, it's pound fifty-five a packet. Now, I've been in pubs where they're pound ten and more in some cases if you go into a town pub or a city pub they're more expensive so yeah perhaps one pound 55 is a little bit on the expensive side and people are there especially the, there's a bloke in glasgow now called mark who is going oh, i wouldn't be paying that i wouldn't be paying all those poons and poons and poons for that um but it's your money or rather it's my money and if i want to spend it on Clarkson's crisps and these excellent lagers I will um, but these are really really good crisps and it was worth the wait it really was It's a 40 gram bag made with Hereford hop cheese. Um, fortunately, the council where Clarkson wants to improve his farm didn't get their hands on these. This is what you should have done, Jez. I sent them all a packet of crisps. Mm. Right. Are really, really good. And they don't leave that dry, greasy twang in your mouth either when you've had some hand cooked crisps. This is just like eating another packet of crisps that are from Leicester. In that big factory where they pay that person who used to play for Leicester a lot of money. So, there you have it then folks. Get yourself on Diddly Squat Farm if, uh, website and get some hand-cut crisps. But Jezza, half and half would have been perfect because Judy Baby likes plain. She's not keen on the cheese and onion. So, she probably won't eat them, which is all more for me. All right, folks, laters.